Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third International Conference in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, IC STEM 2021. My name is Farah Najihar Razali and I will be the MC for today's opening ceremony. Before we proceed, a gentle reminder from the organizer. Please mute your microphone and we seek your attention to stay until the end of the ceremony. Our most gratitude to Allah the Almighty for His grace and permissions that we are able to gather in this virtual opening ceremony and hope it will mark a beginning of an enjoyable and fruitful conference. Yang Berbahagia Datin Sri Hajah Nur Zamani binti Abdul Hamid Director General of Education, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan bin Abdul Ghaffar, Vice Chancellor, University Malaysia Terengganu. Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Haji Pakarudin bin Haji Ghazali, Director, Examination Syndicate, Deputy Director General of Education Malaysia at Interim. Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Shaharudin bin Abu Sohod, Secretariat Division, Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Higher Education. Professor Technologist Dr. Muhammad Zamri bin Ibrahim, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academy and International, UMT. Associate Professor Dr. Hafiz bin Zakaria, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Student and Alumni Affairs, UMT. Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Dr. Noraini binti Idris, President of National STEM Association Malaysia and Adjunct Professor in UMT. Dr. Hajar Rozia binti Abdullah, Director, Educational Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Dr. Hajar Rosna Rizah binti Abdul Halim, Director, Matriculation Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Dr. Esan bin Ismail, Deputy of Head Secretariat Technical, Digital Education Policy, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Associate Professor Dr. Wan Zuhaini binti Saad, Director, Academy Excellence Division, Department of Higher Education. Tuan Wahi bin Nordin, Director, IPTA Student Entrance Division, Department of Higher Education. Tuan Ahmad Rizal bin Adnan, Director, IPTA Governance Division, Department of Higher Education. Tuan Salim bin Abdul Ghani, Director, Terengganu State Education Department. Associate Professor, Dr. Laili binti Haji Cik Ros, Director, STEM Foundation Center of UMT, and Chairman of IC STEM 2021. Keynote and Plenary Speakers of IC STEM 2021, Professor Dr. Manabu Sumida from Ehime University, Professor Dr. Mohan Chinapan the uni from University of South Australia, Professor Dr. Ong An Tak from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, Professor Dr. Valerie Akerson from Indiana University. Professor Dr. Kamisah Osman from University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Forum panelists, Associate Professor Dr. Choi Ban Hang from National Institute of Education, Singapore. Associate Professor Dr. Rachel Sheffield from Curtin University. Dr. Kesara Amovutivon from Simeo STEM Education Centre, Thailand. Senior Officers from Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and University Malaysia Terengganu. Distinguished guests and all participants. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening ceremony of the third International Conference in Science Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, IC STEM 2021. This IC STEM is the third IC STEM and UMT has been chosen to host this event. This two days program is the collaboration program between STEM Foundation Center from University Malaysia Terengganu and Educational Planning and Research Division, EPRD from Ministry of Education Malaysia. 
Ladies and gentlemen, today's program is live at UMT Gallery and is on air through Webex platform, official UMT Facebook, official Pastime TV YouTube channel, official Pusat STEM Negara Facebook, and official Pusat STEM Negara YouTube channel. We begin our ceremony with doa recitation led by Ustaz Muhammad Zakaria bin Muhammad from Sultan Mahmud Islamic Center, UMT. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اللهم يسر امورنا كلها فان تيسير كل عسير عليك يسير اللهم يا مدبر الاحوال ويا محول الاحوال حول احوالنا الى احسن الاحوال In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the world. Let your blessing and your peace be on your servant and your messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and on his family and his companions. Allahumma ya Allah, on this glorious morning, in conjunction with the opening ceremony. of the third international conference in science technology engineering and mathematics i system 2021 with your praise and blessings we are able to proceed with the programs as planned as your humble servants we express our gratitude for this opportunity and we seek you ya allah with endless guidance and blessing in each and every presentations Allahumma ya Allah this conference aims to provide a platform for like-minded people we gathered here to facilitate the exchange of knowledge ideas and good practices among educators Allahumma ya khair al-mas'uliyya wa khair al-ma'tiyya Allahumma ya Allah open our hearts make our tasks easy and remove any no from our tongue so everyone may understand our speech may all participants benefit from this event and bring betterment to the ummah bismillahi alladhi la yadurru ma ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis samai wa huwa as samiu al alim allahumma ya sattar ya alim ya allah help us to remember you to thank you and to worship you in the best of manners forgive us have mercy upon us guide us give us health and grant us sustenance praise be to allah lord of the universe allahumma ya allah we seek of you the means of your mercy the means of your forgiveness the protection from all mistakes the benefit from all virtue and the freedom from all sins allahumma ja'al jama'ana hadha jam'an marhuma wa tafarruqna min ba'dihi tafarruqan ma'suma wa la taj'al allahumma fina wa la ma'ana ولا شقيا ولا محروما ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته استاذ آمين آمين يا رب العالمين Thank you Ustaz Muhammad Zakaria Muhammad for the doa recitation just now. We are very honored to be hosting the, the conference with the theme Integration and Implementation of STEM Education where 794 participants are involved consisting of presenters and attendees. Oral and poster presenters will be sharing their ideas based on the sub themes which are pedagogy e-learning assessment digital technology best practice curriculum and others please be informed that this conference is fully conducted online 
to curb the spreading of COVID-19. Let us all stay at home to fight this COVID-19 in this challenging period. Without further ado, we begin the ceremony with, by inviting Yang Berbahagia Professor Dr. Mazlan Abdul Ghaffa, Vice Chancellor of University Malaysia Terengganu, to give his welcoming speech. With that, please welcome Professor. Thank you, Saudari MC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Yang berbahagia, Datin Sri Hajah Nur Zamani binti Abdul Hamid, Director General of Education, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Haji Fakhrudin bin Haji Ghazali, Director Examination Syndicate, Deputy Director General of Education Malaysia. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Syahrudin bin Abu Sohot, Secretariat Division, Policy Planning and Research Division, Higher Ministry of Higher Education, My colleague, Professor T.S. Dr. Muhammad Zamri bin Ibrahim, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic and International, Associate Professors Dr. Hafiz Zakaria, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Student and Alumni Affairs, Yang Babagia Prof. Dr. Dr. Noraini Idris, President of National STEM Association, Malaysia and Adjunct Professor at UMT. Dr. Hajah Rozia Abdullah, Director Educational Policy, Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Dr. Hajah Rosna Riza binti Abdul Halim, Director Matriculation Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Tuan Salim Abdul Ghani, Director Terengganu State Education Department. Associate Professors Dr. Laili Haji Cik Rost, Director STEM Foundation Center of UMT and Chairman of Today IC STEM 2021, Keynotes and Plenary Speakers of IC STEM 2021, Senior Officers from Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and University of Malaysia Terengganu, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah the Almighty. We are deeply honoured to have the Honourable Director General of Ministry of Education Malaysia, Datin Sri Hajah Nur Zamani binti Abdul Hamid, with us this morning for the conference opening ceremony. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all the keynote speakers paper presenters, academicians, and teachers all around Malaysia in this third international conference in STEM 2021, IC STEM. This conference is creating the integrated STEM education team, where the definition of integrated STEM education is an effort to combine some or all of the four disciplines of science technology, engineering, and mathematics. We are sub teams pedagogy, e-learning, assessment, and etc. Despite the potential benefits and the increased focus on integrated STEM education, implementation of this new instructional strategy face, faces several challenges. First of all, implementing an integrated STEM approach in an educational system that has a very established segregated and disciplines-based structure requires profound restructuring of the curriculum and lessons. Hence, we bring you this conference. This conference will address 
several main questions such as which learning theories in terms of behaviorism, cognitivism, or social constructivism form the basis of integrated STEM education, and which methods of teaching will be more suitable to be applied in today's curriculum, especially during this pandemic. I am proud to know that this conference had successfully in attracting more than 700 papers, to be exact, it's about 794 papers, uh, presenters and attendees from many backgrounds. We have teachers from schools and lecturers from matriculations and institutions all around Malaysia. It is indeed an honor and privilege for me to thank and welcome all of the participants in this virtual conference today. It is most heartening that despite the pandemic and various backgrounds, all of us had meant it to be here today. It is true that 2021 is very different and very unusual. All of the programs teaching must be running online, but that did not stop us from gathering in this platform today. For the past two years, we had adapted very well with this new norm. In fact, we had discovered and embraced many new technologies. This is what we said by turning or converting problems into opportunities. The COVID-19 cases crisis in Malaysia had not shown any better results. And with the facts vaccination rates, with the fast vaccination rates, we hope that our beloved country will get back to its old normal just before the COVID-19 existed, or at least attaining endemic status of COVID-19 new normal life. Ladies and gentlemen, on this third IC STEM 2021, the National STEM Centers and UMT STEM Foundation Center, also called PASTEM, had been together to cultivate and sharing of research results to the presentations and publication among academicians and teachers in STEM fields. The objectives of this conference are to provide a gathering platform for the academicians and teachers from various universities and schools to build a network of scholars to research presentations, discussions and brainstorming, to provide spaces for researchers to present and share their research findings at the international level, to exchange experience and expertise towards the improvements of research conducted as well as identifying the new knowledge that can be explored and shared to, as, to enhance a stronger network of cooperation between the universities and schools through research and organizers of joint conference. I was informed that some of the presentation, where they were from innovations program and they had successfully won gold award. So I believe all educators here, you are very ready to present and share your finding, as well as to try implementing others' method from other presenters in your classroom. Educations evolve, so does the classrooms. We should have implemented this technology as teaching tools to help us in the classrooms. Universities play a significant role in increasing the quality of future education. The lecturers are actively participated in research. We hope that with the continuous research, it will help the educators in teaching, especially during this harsh period of COVID-19 pandemic. This IC STEM 2021 will be the scientific platform to highlight the latest development in the STEM field as well as identify new things that can be explored, especially the technology the related, that related to online distance learning, or we call it ODL or e-learning. It is a new technology developed right after the pandemic, yet can be very useful if the knowledge and the effectivity of the technology is shared 
among the educators. Therefore, this year, online learning is incorporated as one of the themes in this conference. Last but not least, I would like to wish everybody happy presenting to all of the presenters. Thank you very much. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan Abdul Ghaffar for the enlightening speech. Next, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia, Datin Sri Hajar Nozamani binti Abdul Hamid, Director General of Education, Ministry of Education Malaysia, to deliver her speech and officiate the third IC STEM 2021 opening ceremony. With that, please welcome Yang Berbahagia, Datin Sri. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the Virtual International Conference on Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics or ICSTEM 2021, jointly organised by the Ministry of Education Malaysia and University of Malaysia Terengganu, UMT Kuala Terengganu. My heartfelt thank you and gratitude to the organisers for making the third IC STEM 2021 possible. I sincerely hope that this partnership will continue to grow to further strengthen the Malaysia education transformation journey, in particular STEM education. Malaysia's commitment to enhancing STEM education is evident in the strategies mapped out in the Malaysia Education Blueprint 2013-2025 to promote interest among the students to take up STEM, develop primary and secondary teacher skills in teaching STEM, and create awareness among the students and the public on STEM. Pursuant to this, the Ministry of Education has taken steps to strengthen STEM education through laboratory, project-based, and hands-on activities so that students are able to make linkages of the social dynamics and future challenges. The global demand to improve STEM education is mostly driven by the environmental and social impacts of the 21st century. Hence, the urgency for STEM teaching to promote interdisciplinary, innovative and creative approaches. On that note, I believe that the theme for this conference Implementation of integrated STEM education is timely for teachers and academic academicians gathered here today to deliberate on the approaches which are practical and meaningful for students to apply STEM contents. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past decades, STEM subjects are mostly taught in silo. STEM education was mostly focused and given more emphasis on improving science and mathematics are as, as isolated disciplines than engineering and technology in schools. The complexity of today's challenges requires educators to move beyond students' test scores in maths and science. Findings indicated that integrated curriculum provided more stimulating experiences for learners encourage higher order thinking skills, improve retention, and learning became more relevant and less fragmented. Similar benefits have been highlighted that an integrated STEM education have positive impact on students to become better problem solver, innovators, inventors, self-reliant, and technological literate. Despite the growing evidence of the significant impact on students' outcome through an integrated STEM education, there has been more ambiguity on how STEM education should be effectively implemented. Increased integration of STEM subjects will not be effective if there is no strategic approach to implementation. On the other hand, a well-integrated approach will provide opportunities for students to make the connections with the four disciplines of science, technology, engineering and mathematics 
with real world problems. Therefore, I believe this conference will provide the opportunities for participants gathered here today to share, identify and understand the complexities surrounding how people learn and teach integrated STEM content. It cannot be denied that the role of teachers is integral to translate an integrated approach into positive actions of an integrated STEM education. Research has shown that an integrated STEM education requires teachers to have sound understanding and foundational knowledge in each of the disciplines that compose STEM, including the natures of these disciplines as well as the connections between those disciplines. Yet the lack of resources and guidance on how integrated STEM education should be carried out in schools need to be further enhanced. The most obvious conclusion is that teachers must be prepared, educated, trained and supported for integrated STEM education be taught in an active and participative manner, which includes experiments, hypothesis testing, critical thinking and use of proper language. I believe integrated STEM education if properly imp implemented, will facilitate teachers for better classrooms deliveries within the already overstretched curricula. Ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 pandemic has brought the world into unprecedented crisis. Yet in any crisis lies an opportunity. John F. Kennedy once observed that the word crisis in Chinese is composed of two characters re representing danger, the other opportunity. After more than a year mitigating this crisis, our concept of education has been somewhat augmented. As the demand for on learning, on online learning snowballs, teachers need to come up with innovative teaching methodologies on a case-to-case -case basis to suit the learner's requirement. This would require teachers to realign the curriculum, personalize it to fit the needs of the students and, and upskill themselves to stay abreast of emerging technology and skills. Technology has become one of the main mitigation tools to recover learning. Hence, I believe this crisis has given us the much needed impetus to promote integrated STEM education a priority in order for us to build a resilient education system and be prepared for future emergencies. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also pertinent to point out that an integrated STEM education should not be seen as the silver bullet to equip young people with the skills, knowledge and opportunities to ensure they can be capable and responsible citizens. An educated citizenry imbued with values and the ability to make responsible and informed decisions for a sustainable and peaceful future has to be given due considerations. Therefore, a holistic approach to integrated STEM education is critical to equip our students with skills and competencies for tomorrow's future workforce and emerging and modern economics. I really hope this conference will provide the platform for all of you to exchange and set, share knowledge, ideas, good practices and gain new insights for the advancement of STEM education. I wish all of you an engaging conference. Once again, thank you to the ICSTEM 2021 Committee for inviting me to officiate the opening of this conference. With Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I hereby declare the International Conference on Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics 2021 officially opened. Thank you.
Ash shows the behind the scene in IC STEM 2021. Our team has worked hard to ensure the success of this conference. We hope you enjoy as much as we do. With all the honourable guests here with us today, let us all cherish the moment by taking photos together. All guests are invited to switch on your camera for a photography session. In count from 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Uh, I repeat it again. In count of 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, can I request you one more shot for freestyle? All right, thank you. With that, we have ended our opening ceremony of the third IC STEM 2021. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Datin Sri Hajah Nozamani binti Abdul Hamid, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan bin Abdul Ghaffar, and all our distinguished guests. Our conference will continue with the first keynote speaker, Professor Dr. Manabu Sumida, at 9.20. So, hopefully everybody else will stay here for the keynote session. Professor Dr. Manabu is a professor at Department of Science Education at Hime University. He is an expert in science education and has published tons of research papers in his field. We are bringing him live from Japan. So stay with us and don't go away. Thank you and I see you later.